All right, so I just wanted to run through how to make a DB9 with you guys. We need one for this job that we're on, and we're just gonna show you how Taurus standardizes these connectors to make things easy. This is a finished product. This is kind of what you're looking for when you're done, when you're complete. I'm just gonna set this out aside. I'm gonna show you how to get there. So yeah, there's two types of DB9s. You have a female and you have a male. Now the females and the males, they pin out the number of the pin is on the actual pin itself. You need to verify what you're soldering to what number. On a all DB9s, regardless if it's male or female, to, at Taurus we standardize 235 red black shield just so that we can teach it one way and then on the raw end is where we would adjust on like a scalar or a 232 extension device of some kind. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make a female, set the male to the side, set that out of the way. Um, and I, all I really need is some raw wire, the connector, I need some solder, and I need a hot soldering iron. Now, you also are gonna need to trim the wiring, so you need some snips. And then just to make things easy, I hold the DB9 connector with my vice grips. So, just to start it off, I do something like that. I just make it so it holds it nice and tight. It's like another set of hands. I don't carry around the big kit with like the arms. Got one of those, great. but. I don't, that's just too much stuff and they're heavy. I don't like carrying around all that in my backpack. To start, what the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna strip this back about an inch and a half on the wiring. And all you do is you score the wire. You don't wanna cut through the wire, you just score it. And then you can break the actual jacket off of it. Let's see, then I'm gonna trim off all the extra little parts I don't need. Let's see, I'm gonna need this, the shield. I'm gonna twist it up, make sure that it's gonna be good for soldering here in a minute. I'm gonna cut this jacket off. I don't need this jacket now. And we're only gonna use red, black, and shield. I push those out to the side and I'm gonna cut the white and the green wire out of it. And so, so it's gonna look something like that once you get it all trimmed. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to expose some of the conductor on the red. We're gonna expose some of the conductor on the black and it's gonna look something like this. I like to make sure they're all about the same, which they are, good enough. And now, to make sure that I have a solid connection, I always twist them together, just to like get it back in the shape that it was when it was in the wiring. And when I add the solder, it'll be as small as possible to fit in the cup. Um, so now I need to tin all of these. So what I'm gonna do is, take my soldering iron, stand it up straight. I'm gonna take some solder. Now effectively what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add solder to this. And to do that, you just tap it on there. You see it gets really hot really quick. You don't wanna leave it on there too long. You just wanna get some solder on the actual conductor there. So now I have one, two, three conductors all tinned and ready to go. Set that to the size, I don't need it for a moment. Now what I'm gonna do is take my soldering iron, and set up my DB9. Uh, I'm gonna verify 235, which is uh, from my positioning left to right. Now, let's see what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my soldering iron, place it at the base of the cup, and fill the cup with solder. If you leave your soldering iron on these uh, cups too long, I have seen it burn the, the actual pin out, and the pin will fall out. If you have a really hot soldering iron, it doesn't take very long to do that. You, you wanna avoid that. All right, so now I'm going to take my soldering iron and I have to put red into two, black into three, and then ground into five. Pretty, pretty straightforward. We're gonna take our red pin. We're gonna do something like this. And, then, and we're just gonna heat the soldering up. So come back here. Gonna heat the soldering up. Now we're gonna place it in there. Watch it, watch the solder harden. We're gonna go back here, place that there. Watch the solder harden. This is a terrible solder. Let me start over here. There we go, push it in. Now we just gotta get the ground in there. Bam, 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 just heat it up. There you go. All right, I'm gonna set this off to the side and unplug it. Make sure it doesn't burn anything. To be honest with you, what I could have done is clip the soldering a little short. This gap is a little wide, but this connector will work fine. Now I'm gonna grab a hood. I'm gonna cut it out of this bag, dump out all the parts. That's what I need to get the hood functional. And then this is called, this is a strain relief. So 
what you're gonna do here is you're gonna flip it around. There's only, uh, it has one side you can screw in on. So I just start one by hand and I'm gonna place it like that onto the actual jacket of the wire. I don't want it on the conductor in any way. I'll tighten it up. There you go. So now I have one screw left. That's gonna go here. It's easier to start it by hand a lot. So that's what we do. I think I cross started it this second here. There we go. Tighten it up. Boom, boom, boom. Looks something like that. So that's our strain relief now on the wiring. Just make sure that these aren't strained. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the DB9 and place it into the hood. You're going to put the strain relief in the spot for the strain relief. You're going to grab one of these, place it there like that. Grab one of these, place it there like that. And then you take the other second half of the hood, put it on like that. So now effectively that is your DB9. We're going to drop in the nut, put our screw in, grab our tech driver, tighten it up. Grab the other nut, grab the screw, tighten it up. And there you go. That is how you make a DB9. That'd look good in the back of my truck.